Hi, my sweeties. How are you today? Hopefully good. Well, I'm going to be doing the weekly reading again. And it's going to be July 22nd to July 29th. I don't know about you guys, but the month's been going really quick. Which I don't mind, so, because... I don't know. Summer and me just do not mix. Alright. Just shuffle the cards. I'm going to lay out six of them. One. Two. Alright. Let's get started. Let's see what's for the first part of the week. Ooh, the moon. So the first part of the week starts off with a lot of mystery. Mm -hmm. The moon to me is mystery, uh, not knowing what's going to happen. Uh, sometimes it could be, you know, dreaming at night. Some people think bad dreams, but I don't think so. But yeah, it's going to start off a mystery this for the first part of the week. See what the second card has to say. Ooh, two of cups. So I'm thinking that we're going to have like a little mystery when it comes to, you know, a better half or us, you know, our loved ones or the person that we're in a relationship with. So yeah. It's like a beginning of a relationship. It's like that start, like fresh new start of a relationship. So yeah, of course there's going to be some mystery to it. So yeah, those two actually go together. Alright, what's for the second part of the week? Mm, five of Wands. And I have a little conflict, a little competition. Uh... What else do I want to say? It's going to be that, you know, in the middle of the week, we're going to just have like a lot of conflict with someone, whether it be coworkers or family or friends, but we're just going to have like, not, I don't want to say arguments or anything. We're just going to be like conflicted <laughs> and we're going to have like that little competition Let's see, what else does it have to say? Ooh, Two of Swords. Two of Swords to me can mean a lot of things. It can mean, I don't know, uh, to me it means not wanting to see what's going on. As you can see the blindfold on their eyes, they just don't want to see what's going on. They don't want to like admit it to themselves, so they just... Figured if they don't see it, it's not really going to happen, or if they just don't want to own up to it, and stuff like that. So to me, it's like that. So, yeah. So, hmm. Let's see what's for the end of the week. Three of Cups. Three of Cups to me is celebration having fun, going out with your friends, celebrating a wedding or, you know, just something to celebrate and have fun. So it ends on a good note in the end of the week so far. So might have like a little party to go to at the end of the week. Let's see what else. Hmm, death. Death doesn't mean death. It actually means change. So something's coming to an end, to a new beginning. So that's probably where the celebration's coming. Because we're going to be celebrating our new change. Something coming to an end, to a new beginning. So I kind of like that. So we have like an interesting week, if you want to think of it that way. We have mystery. Surrounded on new relationships and everything, which is, you know, it's kind of actually on point because when you're starting a new relationship, of course, it's going to be a little bit of mystery. You're going to find out what's going on between the both of you and everything. So, yeah. In the middle of the week, we're going to be conflicted, a little competition, and 
then we're going to be trying not to see what's, I don't know how to explain that card. Um, to me, it's like you don't want to see what's going on. That you think, you know, if you have blindfolders on that it's, you know, just not seeing it. That you don't want to see it. So you have to take those blinders off. And then towards the end of the week, you have celebration and you have change, which you could be celebrating because of all the change and everything that's going to happen. So, yeah. So, not a bad week. We have good things and some things that are changing and, yeah. All right. Now, as I did last week, I end up doing, um, I've been pulling for the signs and everything, like Leo, you know, our, our birth signs, our horoscopes and all that, <laughs> I should say. Yeah, I'm tired, guys. Bear with me. But last week I pulled Leo, so I put that away, and I have my trusty thing again, which I'm going to pull from it. And... I'm going to use the Wisdom of the House of Knights. I think I used that last week. And let's see who it's going to be this week. And I'm going to pull three cards for whoever it is. So, let's see. Alrighty. Scorpio this week. So, we're going to be reading for Scorpio. Let's put that aside. So we're going to give all the signs a chance and everything. Let's see what's going to be for Scorpio. I'm going to pull three cards for Scorpio. i got to shuffle them though. Make sure they're really shuffled really good. I know, it's pretty boring when you have to shuffle. <laughs> but hey, it's going to be done. Alright, let's see what the week has in store for Scorpio. Here, let me take these off. Lay three cards down. Scorpio. Beginning of the week, the middle of the week, and the end of the week. Okay, for the beginning of the week for Scorpio, let's see. Complicated. So it starts off a little bit of, you know, a little bit. It starts off complicated. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a little bit tired. It's about 1 o'clock around here, guys. Let me look it up. 48. I mean, we all know what complicated means, but it's always good to look it up. Drawing the symbol reminds you that someone there, oh, sometimes there are so many elements to consider that it can be next to impossible to understand them all in the moment. Especially when you most want to find an answer. Right now things are compl complex and only time would help you put all other pieces of the puzzle together. Just remember, simple can also be boring and complications can make for deeper, more mature experiences. Don't try to figure this one out. Just be open and follow the threads of life's mysteries webs. So yeah, sometimes you just can't figure it out. Just go with it. Sometimes it makes it interesting, sometimes it makes it aggravating, but you know what? Just go with it. Alright, let's see what's for the middle of the week. Understanding. Pretty card. So let's see what that has to say. My foot is falling asleep on me, everyone. <laughs> Understanding. It is one thing to read something or to hear something, but it is another thing to truly understand something. You are being asked to keep an open mind and heart and to allow yourself to observe information as you receive it. Be open to the wisdom that can only oh that can come only with time, patience, and perceptive. Try to get outside of yourself and imagine what it is like to walk in someone else's shoes. To understand is to have power. 
So yeah, understanding. This is a symbol for deep and true comprehension. Sometimes to understand someone, you have to walk in their shoes. I mean, we all heard the old saying and everything. You know? But, yeah. Sometimes that's the only way you can understand other people. Alright. Let's see what the last card is. Strength. I actually pulled this for myself this week. Strength to me is having the ability to, you know, have that strong, you know, to be strong to do everything that you need to do and everything. Let's see what they have to say. If I can find it. 96. All right, does it seem as if nothing goes your way and that everyone else appears to be having a good time? Be strong, my dear. Drawing the symbol means that no matter what is happening in your life, you have the strength to endure all experiences, like an ancient oak whose trunk cannot be uprooted by the mightiest storm. You will know a strength that comes from within. You will win this game of life. You have the strength to face any situation now. So yeah, you're like a strong oak. You're not budging. You know, whatever's happening in your life, you're going to stay strong and you're going to fight whatever needs to be fought. But yeah, that's for Scorpio this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll definitely be doing this again next week. <laughs> See who else we get next week. It's like a little tarot scope, but I'm doing it differently. So I hope you guys like your tarot reading. If you do, please, you know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, all those fun things and everything. And I'll definitely talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Keep smiling.